Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to use the Accounts Manager module on Socinator using your Instagram account. So this is the first tab on the left side and it's the screen that will welcome you when you open the Socinator app. So here you can see the different accounts from different social networks that you have imported to Socinator and their respective account details. So let's start. So first, you can add a single account or you may import multiple accounts. So if you want to add a single account, click the Add Account button. So for this one, let's choose Instagram as our social network. You may type your group name here, but it's not really required. So only if you want to group your accounts together on Socinator. So let's now go to the email ID or username. So for Instagram, let's say our username is happycolors.ph as well as your password. So the password for this Instagram account. So you may check two-factor login required if you want better security. You may also click show advance to enter the proxy address, port, username, and password. So when you're ready, click save. So status is trying and now it's success. So we have successfully imported our Instagram account here. So this is the username, the logo of the social network, the group name, it's ungrouped because we did not specify a group name. Proxy address is the local IP address, and this is the friendship count. So in this case, the number of followers you have. If you right click on your Instagram account, you can see different options for you. The first one is details. So if you click details, it will bring you to this page where you can see the social network, the group name, so it's ungrouped. Account name, you may enter an account name here if you want. And this is the email or the username, the password. If you check the I button, it will reveal the password. Then the website, status is success. So Socinator can start with its automation tools using this account. Again, you may check two-factor login required for better security. And if you click auto-verify by email, then you can enter the email, the password hostname and port. You may also use SSL and the advanced settings will be the proxy settings from earlier. Okay, when you're done, click save. So trying to log in, success. Then cancel to go back to this previous page. So that's the details. The next one is delete profile. Let's skip that for now. For browser login, Socinator will open a new tab where you can browse using your Instagram account. So it's a Socinator browser. You can enter the URL here. And this is your Instagram account now. If you click check IP, then it will reveal your IP address. If you click log in, then yeah, you will try to log into your Instagram account. You already did. So you can browse, you can search. This is your feed. So you can immediately browse using your Instagram account thanks to Socinator. When you're done, click close. Next, we have go to tools. So this is where we can find the automation tools. So we have follower, follow back. So the list goes on. So each of them has their own purpose. Be sure to check out the other tutorials for that. Next, you have check account status. So you can check the status of your account if you click that one. So as you can see right now, the status is success. So that's what we want to see. Next, we have update friendship. So it will update the friendship count over here in real time. So right now, it's at 1001. Next, we have edit Insta profile. So if you click it, you can edit your Instagram profile using Socinator. So no need to really open the app just to edit the profile so you can upload your image here if you want to change your profile picture, your name, the username, and you may enter a website here if you want and your bio as well. Then you may check private information to edit your private info such as email address, phone number, and gender. When you're done, click submit over here. Next, we have copy account ID. So if you want to copy and paste your account ID somewhere, then you have this option to do so by clicking this one. So let's click it. And account ID is successfully copied. So now let's go back to the second one, delete profile. So as the name suggests, it will delete 
this Instagram account from Socinator. It will not delete the account itself, but only from the Socinator app. So if you want to delete it, then click delete anyways. And as you can see, it's now gone from Socinator. So that's how you import and delete a single account. Now let's try to import multiple accounts. So let's go to this button. So before clicking, if you hover on the button, then you can see the format. Different formats for different types. So the group name, any random group name where you want to group the accounts together on Socinator. Then colon, social network. So in this case, Instagram, colon, the username, colon, the password. So let's save this as a text file by clicking File. Then click Save As. Let's call it Import Multiple.txt. Then click Save. So one account per line only. You may also import only one account. So if we delete the second account, then save it as another text file. Let's say Import Single. Click Save. You can also open a spreadsheet where you can type your account details. No need to separate each detail with a colon because they are already divided into four columns. Let's click File, then click Save As. Then let's select .csv. Let's call it Import Multiple .csv, then click Save. So after the password, we can add colon, alternate email, or colon, proxy address, colon, proxy port. But this is only for YouTube accounts. So let's click it. So a dialog box will show up where you can select the text file. Let's choose the import multiple one. Click open when you're done. And here we have two Instagram accounts imported at the same time. So you can see that, yeah, the status, both are successful. Then they are grouped together. The group name is Insta. Then, yeah, the friendship count. So two Instagram accounts are imported at the same time. You may also delete several accounts at the same time. So let's say you want to delete both. Then simply check the box so you can select one or more. You may also click the select button. So you may select all accounts, it will select all accounts. You may deselect all as well. And now the check marks are gone. So you can select working accounts, all are working. You can select non-working accounts and it didn't select anything because all are working. Then not checked accounts will select those that are not checked, all are checked. Then you may also select account by groups. So these are the groups. If you have a lot of accounts, then this will make it easier to select them if they are grouped. So we have the ungrouped ones. It selected the ungrouped ones and Insta, and it selected Insta. So let's deselect all. Let's try deleting multiple accounts at the same time. So select both, then click the delete button over here. Delete anyways, and they're gone. Now let's try to import a single account. So it is also possible to import single accounts only if you typed account details for one account only in the text file. So the file name for that one is import single. Then click open. So it only uploaded a single account. The update button over here will allow you to update your account. Select all accounts, then update all details, and it will update everything. So you can see the status. So the third one is trying to log in for now. And it's a success. Next, we have a stop process. So if there are processes that are currently running, then if you click stop process, then it will stop all processes for all accounts. Same goes with all activity. All activities will be stopped. If you click stop all activity, you may also update auto verify credential if you want. So be sure to select your accounts properly. Otherwise, they will be included in the updating. So let's deselect everything. Now we have the export button over here. This will export selected accounts. So as you can see, we need to select one account. So let's select this one, for example. Click export. Let's choose desktop, for example. Select folder. 
and it's successfully exported so you can see that this is the file that was exported the Instagram account and the last button delete we already showed you so let's delete the account and it's gone the info button over here will give you the module description so in this case the accounts manager module so you can add or delete single account or you can import export multiple accounts so you may watch the video take help from knowledge base or contact support and that's it for this tutorial on the accounts manager module of socinator i hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching